I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on discrete functions. Here are two related questions. We have seen these questions in many test papers over a period of time. Question number one is, find the sum of first 20 terms of 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 15 and so on. And question number two is, Find the sum of infinite series 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 20 and so on. So one is a finite series. We need to find sum for 20 terms. The other one is an infinite series. Basically to give you an idea of how to work with such series. Now, some of you must have noticed that they are actually the same series. Now in this particular series, I could actually multiply and divide by 2, so it becomes 2 plus, let's do that. So, and if I uh, kind of, let, let me say like this, that if I, in this series, if I take 2 common, let's say 2 common, that is to say if I divide all this by 2 and multiply by 2, so multiplying by 2, dividing by 2 means, 1 over 2 plus dividing this by 2 will give me 1 over 6 plus dividing this by 2 will give us 1 over 12 plus 1 over 20 and so on. Do you see that? Now these two series are exactly same. Correct? So these two are exactly same series. So you get only thing is that the first one is twice the other. How? They are exactly the same. Correct? So basically, we will now figure out an approach or strategy to solve such questions. So what is our strategy here? Now this is an important strategy as it really helps you to solve some of the very difficult questions in your test papers. So the strategy is to find a general term, right? So, so in this series, we'll now continue with the, the series given here. Let's find a general term. So what we notice here that we are given 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. Let me write. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 plus so on. 1 over 2. 1 over 6 could be written as 2 times 3. 12 could be written as 3 times 4, right? So we could write this as 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4, correct? So if you continue the series in this fashion, then third term is 3 times 4. Nth term will be what? n times n plus 1, correct? So that infinite series continue. You see that part. So basically, in this series, general term is 1 over n times n plus 1. So that is a general term. So we can say Tn basically is 1 over n times n plus 1. Now, this term can actually be split and written as fractions, correct? We could always write this as a over n plus b over n plus 1. So, so the general term 1 over n times n plus 1 can be written as this. So if you write like this and multiply both sides by n times n plus 1, what do you get? You get 1 equals to a times n plus 1 plus b n, right? That's what you get. And uh, simplifying, we get a n plus a plus b n, correct? Taking n common, we can write 1 equals to n common, a plus b plus a, right? So that's what you get. 
Now you can see that on the left side we have only one. So that means A will be equal to one and this term should be zero, right? So that means possible answer for B is S minus one, correct? So one minus one will be zero, then this equation will be satisfied, right? So we equated A with one and a plus b with so we equated a equals to 1 and a plus b with 0 so we get our solution correct so that is a very interesting uh, situation that is to say that the general term can be written as let's rewrite 1 over n times n plus 1 can be written as 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. So that becomes a general term. Now we are going to use this general term in either of these series to get our solution. Correct. So let's say this is A for us, this is B for us, let's do A first. Both are kind of same, right? So in question number A, the series for us is 2 times 1 over 2, right, plus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 12, plus, now we are looking for 20th term, right, so, so this is your first term, um, I forgot to write, uh, that's okay, yeah, this is your first term, right, second term, third term, so the first term is 1 times 2, 20th term will be 20 times 21, right? So we'll write this as 1 over 20 times 20 plus 1, which is 21, correct? So that becomes sum of our 20 terms. We're talking about 20 terms. Correct? Sum of, right, let's S20. Sum of 20 terms for this series is 2 times all this. Now every term 1 over n times n minus n plus 1, now 2 is 1 times 2, right? So it is 1 times 2. So, so it could be written as what? It could be written as 1 over 1, right? 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2, correct? So that is your first term, correct? The second term 6 is 2 times 3. 1 over 6 is 2 times 3. So we could write this as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Right? So likewise, 1 over 12 could be written as, which is 3 times 4, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. So on in the last term will be 1 over 20 minus 1 over 21. So as you can see, these consecutive terms will all cancel. This will cancel with the previous term. What you remain in this particular case will be 2 times 1 minus the last term, right? Which is 1 over 21, correct? So that is going to be your answer, right? So it is 2 times 21 minus 1 over 21, or this is... Uh, 20, so we get 40 over 21 as our answer. Is that clear to you? So that is how we'll get solution of part A. Now let's take part B. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So what we did was we split every fraction as sum of these two fractions and we found that most of the terms got cancelled except for the first and the last, right? And so we got our answer. Now, if we have infinite series, let's say infinite series, that is two times, right? So in the infinite series, we're talking about this, which is which is sum of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 plus so on, right? Till infinity. Okay. Now, this is converging, correct? So it does have a sum. Now, writing again in the same fashion as you saw, 
what we get here will be 1 over 1 minus half this is for the first term that gives you that gives you half correct and now for 1 over 6 we'll write this as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 so on and the last term is going to be what will be this right let's say a general term will be 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 now as you saw all these terms in the middle will get cancelled we are remaining over the first and the last term so the series will be 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 that is the series so this series is approaching to what as n approaches infinity that term approaches zero right so so s infinity approaches one do you see that because this term approaches zero so as n approaches infinity one over n plus one approaches zero and therefore the sum approaches one so we get this series infinite series as equal to one and this for 20 terms will be 40 over 21 is that clear to you right so that is how we are going to solve this question on series so i hope you understand the steps the idea was first to show you that they are exactly same series except for the first one is twice the second one second was that we could actually write every fraction as combination of a fraction 1 over n times n plus 1 is equal to 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. Now this is extremely important strategy which can be used in many similar questions, right? Using this strategy, we found some of finite series of 20 terms or infinite series as shown here. As n approaches infinitely large number, the last term approaches 0 and therefore the sum is just 1. Is that clear to you? So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.